What's up guys, my name is Ace, and welcome back to The Breakdown, the series where I analyze gameplay to help you improve. In today's episode, we're going to be analyzing a domination gameplay on the map Urban from Chaos Incarnate. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so today is going to be a little bit different. Instead of analyzing a bunch of different situations and things like I normally do with the breakdown, I'm going to be focusing on one topic for this video. And the reason for this is I would say this person is about equal skill level to me, or very close to the same skill level. And honestly, there's not a whole lot of things that, that I would have done differently in this gameplay. So it's not something that I feel like I could break down uh, every like situation by situation and everything like that. I feel there's only one thing holding him back, and that is sensitivity. Now, in the email that he sent with the submission, he mentioned that he's playing on a 20 sensitivity, and he realizes it's high, but he feels like he handles it pretty well. And to be honest, he does handle it pretty well for a 20 sensitivity. I mean, I wouldn't be able to handle it nearly as well as he is right now, but it is still the number one thing that holding him back. If you look at this from a completely objective standpoint, he is missing a lot of shots and losing a lot of gunfights that he would be easily winning with a lower sensitivity and with more control over his sensitivity. Also, the fact that you're on a 20 sensitivity in this gameplay, it doesn't seem to really be helping you in very many situations. Sure, you can turn really quickly, but you seem to know where the enemies are coming from most of the time anyways, so it doesn't really matter that you're on that 20 sensitivity. It's not saving you uh, very often, at least. It's not saving you from a ton of deaths. It's not, uh, it's not really improving your gameplay at all to have super, super high sensitivity. I mean, it is kind of nice to, to be able to spin fast and everything. And I do realize if you just drop your sensitivity down right now, it will feel as if you're moving very slow. You'll feel very restricted at first. But once you get used to it, you will improve your accuracy and your ability to win gunfights more consistently. I kind of want to just put a bunch of different gunfights into slow motion here so you can truly see where you're going wrong because if you're just kind of watching the gameplay and not really paying attention to like every single shot that you're missing and all of that, you probably might not pick it up. You might just see, oh wow, okay, you just got melted and destroyed and stuff. But if you take a look at it very slowly and you look at every single shot you're missing, you'll see that there are a ton of gunfights that you would have easily won had you not missed any shots. And that's really what you should be aiming for, in my opinion. As a higher level player, you should be aiming for nearly perfect accuracy. You should almost never miss a shot, because you know where your enemies are, and you've got time to aim down sight, you've got time to get lined up, but with your high sensitivity, you're kind of swaying all over the place. If you were to drop your sensitivity a little bit at a time, like don't just do it all at once, don't just drop down to like a 2 sensitivity because that's not going to work for you. After playing on a 20 sensitivity, there's no way you can drop down to like a 2 and I don't recommend playing on a 2 anyways. I'd recommend going a little higher than that. And as somebody that's that's used to the higher sensitivities, I'd recommend dropping down to maybe a 15 sensitivity. At least start with a 15 sensitivity, play with it, get used to it, put an honest effort in. I know it's it's going to be difficult at first, it's going to feel weird. But put an honest effort in with that 15 sensitivity, uh, play a few hours with it, and then if you can, record one of your gameplays and watch it back and really focus on how many shots you're miss missing and how many shots you're hitting and see if it's making a difference for you. I can almost guarantee it will start making a difference after you play a few hours with it at least, once you start getting used to it a little bit more. And then from there, you can decide to stay on that sensitivity, or if you still feel like you're overcompensating a lot and you're missing a lot of shots, try dropping it down just a little bit more, maybe just a couple points at a time at that point. And just drop it until you start feeling like uh, you're comfortable with it, you can hit your shots while still having a high enough sensitivity to turn and do what you want to do as far as turning quick enough. So that's the one thing I just really wanted to point out with your gameplay. There wasn't really much to mention about the way you move around the map or the way that you're predicting enemies. You almost always seem to know where your enemies are, and this is why you don't need a high sensitivity. If you know your enemies are coming from a certain direction, you don't need that ability to spin around in a 360 super quickly unless you're some sort of a trick shotter or something, which you clearly aren't. So, like I said, that's really all I wanted to touch on with this gameplay. You handled things well, you seem to know what's going on around the map, you seem to know what's going on around you, you can predict enemies well, and you play the objective, and you basically won this game for your team. Drop that sensitivity, you will improve. 
So that's going to wrap it up for today's episode. I honestly don't know if I'm going to be analyzing any more Advanced Warfare gameplay. I think this is going to be the last episode for Advanced Warfare. But we are going to be continuing this series with Black Ops 3, so don't worry about that. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.